And they also, weirdly enough, have a solid conditioner, and it's called Jungle. And it is $10 for every 3.5 ounces, so it's about equal to, you know, regular conditioner. And it, mine is cut in a really funky shape. It's got like a triangle. Um, there's a different ways, a couple ways you can use it. Some people wet their hair and then just slide it down it. Other people warm, like really like warm it up in their hands and like try to get as much on their hands as possible and then just push it through. Um, I've also read about people cutting off a piece and smushing it up and sticking it in an old plastic shampoo bottle and adding water and then shaking it up and leaving it for a few days. I might try doing that. For right now I just break off pieces and warm those up in my hands and put them in my hair. And I like to use this one with squeaky green because the, the scents really mash well together. They say it smells like tropical fruit. I don't think so. I don't know what I think it smells like. Like the earth. I don't know. American Cream. It smells like heaven. They, ha they even have a solid perfume that smells just like it because it's really popular. It smells like honey and strawberries and vanilla and... Ugh. I'm going to smell it right now. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Um, the only thing is, I use this as Ultimate Shine, the white one, the white shampoo bar, because it tends to dry out my hair for some reason, like my scalp. So I use American Cream with it, and it's super hydrating. Um, I'm about 25% through. I still have quite a bit left, and this one cost me $8.75, which is kind of pricey for something this small, but it's lasted me quite a while, mostly because I do alternate my routine so much. Um, another solid, another one that I really like is called Veganese, but this is not meant for people who do color their hair. I mean, mine is blonde, so it's not a big deal, but there is like lemon and there's salt and stuff in it and seaweed, so it can tend to strip. But this is really good for fine hair because it doesn't weigh your hair down. And I do, I use this with, I'll show you, another shampoo that I use. It's actually a shower gel that I use as a shampoo. Um, but... I haven't really tried, I've only tried those three conditioners, just because I find that they all work for me and I haven't really felt the need to try anything else. But with Veganese, rub, rub, rub. I mentioned another video I showed you as soon as I got it. I love it for my body. I love the way it smells. See, I'm almost done with it. Um, when I'm in a super hurry, I wash my hair with it. And it smells so good and it really is nice. And the salt just fades right away and it's just amazing. Um... But again, because there's all that salt and like lemon and stuff in it, I would not recommend um, if you have like red, especially if you have red hair, because everything strips red hair. But now, one of my favorite things in the entire world, it's and I can't find it for the life of me, and I know I have some left, and I don't, I haven't unpacked anything. My room is a mess. Um, it's called Marilyn, and it's a hair treatment. It's a moisturizer, and it's in a thing just like this. It's twenty dollars. Um, and it, the problem with it is hair treatment. Do I cover it from root to tip, like the whole thing? And it's very runny. It's kind of like an eclair mixture, like a Boston cream. So you just like scoop it and like stick it in your hair liquid. Um, but it lightens your hair a little bit. Which don't use it if you want people to be like. Oh my gosh, you just bleached your hair, it looks great. No, it's, my hair is blonde right now, but it's naturally black, almost. So my roots, when they grow out, are terrible. They're absolutely terrible. Well, I use Marilyn. I use about once every couple weeks, and each thing, well, depending on how long your hair is, my hair is pretty short, so I can make it last about three uses. And I just cover it in my hair, and it really helps lighten a little bit the root color when I have it and you leave it in and it kind of dries on your hair so you can even sleep in it if you want to. Don't, I would use it for no less than half an hour but I've left it in my hair for a few hours and it's just the next day your hair it just really helps moisturize your hair, helps it make it soft. It doesn't make it greasy or anything. I love it. And if I can't find it, I'm going to have to buy another one because I'm like totally obsessed with it. Um, and I've also tried, sorry, I'm on their website because I can't remember some of the stuff that I've tried. Oh, I'm going to pronounce it wrong on a video. Husan Wenhua. I don't know. It smells like salad dressings. And it's funky. It smells like crap, actually. I can't lie. It smells terrible. It's in another thing like this. But it really does work. Their hair treatments are very good, actually. And 
Too bad it smells like death. Um, hair. There are hair gels. I used to use this goth juice when I had really, really short hair. Just kind of like spike it out. Cute. It was cool. All, again, they're all in the little black. They're smaller than the one I keep showing you. They're all little black things. And the hair henna hair dyes. I have a friend. They have ones for brown. They have ones for red, black, bright red. Um, I have a friend that swears by them. I've never dyed my hair with henna. Um, I might go back to red eventually. I've dyed my hair like every color. I love dyeing my hair. But henna is supposed to be much more, much more better, much better on you for your hair and stuff. I don't know. My friend swears by the henna. And they're not too, because how much are they for a block? Well, they're like 20 bucks. And they come with instructions. They tell you. You can look on the website how to use. It tells you exactly how to do it. Um, and it's supposed to be really good for your hair. And henna's supposed to be much better for your hair than dyeing it. So I hope that I didn't go over the time limit because I talked as fast as I could. I might be going over it now, talking about not wanting to go over the time limit. But I hope this was helpful to somebody. Ask me any questions that you want. I might have missed a few things that I've tried because I'm trying to get this all in to under 10 minutes. So I hope that it was helpful.